we just saw quite a bit of impressive action from Europe, and it got us thinking, who does Hercules Gomez think are the top five attacking players in all of CONCACAF? So right why don't now. you give it to us? Right now. Right now, right, right this now, moment. Right now. Not historically good, not talent level of mm -hmm. the moment. Prisoners right, of producer the moment. Beto, let's roll the clips. Number five. Ricardo Pepe. Now, I listen. Ricardo Pepe is number five. Uh, why is he number five? Probably the only bright spot for Groningen this season. They're probably going to get relegated and not anything Ricardo Pepe uh, can really do about it. Despite his best efforts, we've already talked about what does he have? Seven goals this season uh, on a very bad Groningen team. Mm -hmm. uh, he seems to have found his form. So he's at number five right now. Number four. Now, this is very recency bias, okay? But it's mm -hmm. Giovanni Reina. Three goals in the last four games, mind you, all coming off the bench, all types of goals, golazo some of them. Just straight world-class bangers. Keeps showing up time and time again from the bench. He's still not 100%, so I'm eager to see what 100% is for Giovanni Reyna. Finally got his, his start coach. over the weekend. Finally we've got his start. We've been, we've been screaming for it here on Football That's Americas. right. Number three. Goals only off the bench. For Santiago Jimenez. El Bebote. Chaquito. Hey, uh, did, did Mao, did, oh, Mao never had to get the tattoo, He never right? got the tattoo. He skated. Yeah, look, he's your leading goal scorer in Europa uh -huh. League. He's got five in league play. He's got one in cup. Mm -hmm. uh, Double digits keeps, now. He keeps getting better guys. and better. And the majority of his play or his play is off the bench. You heard him talking about his improvement. I really think this is your nine going forward. If you're L3, you have to bank on him. You have to roll the die, dice, mm -hmm. excuse me, and, and see where it takes you with this player because he truly is special and he's coming to his own. He's only 20 years old. I mean, give me yep. a break. Number two, let's go. Jonathan David, 14 league goals. Mm. <laughs> I, it's not just like one hit wonder. He, he did it last year. He had big teams after him, like Arsenal, big teams after him, like Atletico, at least mm -hmm. in the orbit of. Uh, he is, at one point, was the best nine in CONCACAF for my money. He's just a player that does it all. I could say very little about Jonathan David, and all of it, or very little of it, will be negative. All of it will be positive. He is that guy. Um, and who can actually beat him? Well, number one. Now, put an asterisk on this if you want. But Folarin, mm -hmm. Balogun, the gun. Asterix, obviously, yes. Asterix, obviously, because he does hold an English passport. There is mm -hmm. talk about him getting an English call up. Uh, does hold, he's a tree nat, you said? Yes. CONCACAF eligible, we'll call him. He's CONCACAF eligible. Uh, 15 goals this season. What he's doing, the way he's doing it. Now, I don't want to say he's a one hit wonder because mm -hmm. to prove that you're not, you have to do it for multiple seasons. Mm -hmm. But everything we've seen from him, everybody we talk to, Julian Laurent, uh, our colleague over in the UK absolutely loves this kid. His movement, his finish ability, the nose for goal. This is insane, but in Ligue 1, where players like Kylian Mbappe, Lionel Messi, and Neymar, where they, where they ply their trade, you mm -hmm. have two CONCACAF attackers right now that have more goals than him, and he's leading the way. It truly is something special, so it remains to be seen where he will land. Uh, Mm -hmm. Whatever country that is, but for the time being, CONCACAF eligible. Okay, so I'm looking at this list of five, Herc. I'm looking at this list of five. I got, uh, all right, a couple guys playing in the French League, a couple guys playing in the Dutch League, one guy playing in the German League. Yeah. Okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, and only Santiago Jimenez of those players is playing on a team that right now leads his league. And he is starting, at least, at least in the last couple weeks. Okay. He's getting more and more minutes, okay? Now, None of those leagues, with the exception of Germany, and it's arguable, are on the level of Syria. And none of the teams that we've talked about are on the level of Napoli, who are running away with the Italian top flight. I think we just said it. 15 points to second place. One of the best teams, Herc, in all of Europe. Not just based on the table, based on how they've played in European competition. And Chucky Lozano is now a day-in, day-out starter. Four straight starts for Napoli. And he can't get into your top me those five. What other CONCACAF player is starting and has a bigger role in attack on a better team than Chucky Lozano? Give me, give me those stats in those four games. In those four games? Ah, oh, we, we can't fall in love with stats here. I thought you were anti-stat. No, what I'm do you an want? attacker. You want, 
That's the only thing that matters is the stats when no you're an attacker. No goals. That's the only thing that matters. Well, that's the only thing that matters if you're an attacker. It's the only thing that matters. No, please. Please, being a starter on one of the top teams in the world, Seth, you got it. You got it. You have some, have some respect for that. Have some respect for yourself. Give me the stats. Four wins in a row. Four starts in a row. <laughs> okay. Zero goals. You know what? Zero goals. It didn't three hurt goals, me. three it didn't assists. Hurt, it in didn't hurt me to keep Chucky, Chucky off the list or Chucky mm -hmm. off the. Excuse me. You know what hurt me? Uh, keeping two players. Uh, one player, Geraldo Becker, uh, Suriname player for Union Berlin. Uh, oh, okay. Keeping him off the list. That that's right there, probably out of the box. But more than that. Henry Martin, keeping mm. Henry Martin off the list, that really hurt me because I identify with Henry a lot. Right. Uh, Henry's in the best form of his life right now. Last season, 10 goals, okay? Mm -hmm. And then he had some games in there that were Real Madrid scored against them, Man City scored against them, went to the World Cup, scored a goal there as well. This season in six weeks, he scored seven goals. He mm -hmm. leads Liga So why you, got Pepe, why you got Pepe above him? Pepe plays in the Area Divisia. Oh, it's a better league than Liga Mekis. Yes. Groningen's a better team than America. No, but it's a better league. No, please. Not he's as not, competitive a league. He's not please. playing against Groningen. Please. That's not he's as competitive with a league. Groningen. No chance. No chance. <laughs> Seb, what's a better league? Liga Mekis is a better league, more competitive league. Way harder for Henry Martin to score in Liga Mekis than for Ricardo Pepe to score at Groningen. Josie Altador scored. 30 goals in the air of Izzy. How much more of the show do we have, producer? Because this is like walking out like material right now. This is this is this is walking out material right mm -hmm. now for me. Mm -hmm. Like what, what's going on? He's gonna, you're gonna say Liga Mekis is better than Ere de Vizia. Henry Martin, better than Pepe. Yes. Are, are you so gonna, why so why you why said, you then why if you love Henry Martin so much, why'd you leave him out for Pepe? Because of where they play. That's why. It, fa it matters. It factors in. So no player from MLS or Liga Mekis could really be in this top five then, basically. You well, disrespect not, the leagues, not with the leagues options, that made you Hercules Gomez. Not, not with these options. If I, w if I was a good or mid-level or great player, it will not stop me from being a great analyst. That's all I got to tell you. Mm. So you should take that to heart as well. And anybody who wants to throw dirt out there, like just get your head out of that sand mm -hmm. and concentrate for a second on who these players are and where they're at. Mm -hmm. I love me some Henry Martin, but don't compare Feyenoord to Club America right now. They're, I, calling it a, they're calling it a farmer's league. Or farmer's league. 